Hello everybody, it's Penny Shelton here and today is Thursday, it's September the 16th and as you know for about the last two weeks my videos have consisted of updates on how our friend Dave the Raw Food Trucker is getting along. Most of you already know that he did have a stroke and a mild heart attack and we've been doing just updates here on, on how things are going for him but right now uh, my good buddy Matt Monarch and his beautiful bride Angela Stokes Monarch have been up hanging with Dave in God's country in Seattle for a few days and they are capturing him on video live and in action. And if you missed yesterday's video that Matt put up, you just d absolutely need to watch that. It's hilarious. Dave is such a stud. And then they've got part two of that video coming out today. So since Matt's got it under control right now on the updates, I thought that I would take a break and talk to you all about another couple in the raw food community that is very near and dear to many of our hearts. And I feel about them like I do about Dave. Raw Dog, Rory, and Amanda are like family to me. And I can't even really put my finger on it or explain why I feel that connection. But I know a lot of you all feel it too. If you don't know Raw Dog Rory and his wife Amanda, I'm going to put the links to their websites and their YouTube channel underneath this video. The thing I love about Raw Dog is um, he has tons of videos up on YouTube of how to make raw food easy. How to put these recipes together. And he is a, he's a hoot. He's freaking awesome. <laughs> You just have to watch them. I mean, I can't even I can't even tell you, but it's great. And so a lot of you who've been following him for a while know that last year he had moved his mother in with he and Amanda when they were living in Connecticut, and they put her on a hundred percent raw food diet for six weeks. And Sandra like had a lot of health improvements. I mean, she's she's a large woman and she had diabetes, um, high cholesterol, you know, and all the different diagnoses that go along with, you know, being overweight. And so she had some major, major breakthroughs and health improvements, and she was loving it, loving it. And so after the six weeks was over, they moved her back into her place, and Raw Dog helped get her set up with a dehydrator a blender and everything that she was going to need to make this lifestyle work for her and she's been maintaining a really high food, raw food diet since that time but um, I'm not exactly sure what all has happened one thing I know for sure is that her blender broke so she hasn't been doing like the green smoothies and the different things that she would kind of been living on so that's been a problem and it sounds like she's had a health setback of some sort and I have do not have the details on that but apparently it's serious enough that Raw Dog is um, has left Oregon which is where he and Amanda are right now on their Live My Life Now track. If you don't know about the Live My Life Now track, well Amanda's walking across the United States. <laughs> it's amazing. They're, I view Raw Dog and Amanda kind of, they're like modern day raw food missionaries because she's following her dream to walk. It's almost like modern day Peace Pilgrim. If you if you don't know who the Peace Pilgrim is, you should Google that because that lady was amazing. Was it a lady? I think it was. Good grief. Anyway, check out that. I, I think I need to Google the Peace Pilgrim. I've read about it, but anyway, check that out. So they're the modern day missionaries because she's walking and he drives like he'll... Uh, He'll drive the van and go park and wait for her to get there. I mean, that's kind of how they've been doing it. And the van's broke down right now, too, by the way. And so they, he teaches classes um, in all the different communities that they've traveled through and she's walked through. He'll do raw food prep classes. And I mean, that's basically how they're living financially. I mean, the money that he makes from these classes, the proceeds from his ebook sales, he's got a couple of awesome ebooks out, and we're going to be giving away some of those next week during our big giveaway. Um, and, and that's a great way for you to support them as well by ordering the ebooks. And um, I mean, that's just how they live. And then she has a donate button up on the Live My Life Now track, and that's how they live. So. I wouldn't be able to do that. I would be too stressed out to do it. But they are on a mission and they're spreading the good news of the raw food lifestyle to so many people and it's just awesome. So anyway, they took the money that they'd been saving up to get the van repaired to buy a plane ticket so that Rory can go be with his mom right now and get her stabilized 
and um, he, his plan is is just to basically move in with her for a few weeks and get a couple of odd jobs so that he can raise money to buy her a blender. Okay, I'm just saying I think we need to do this. I think we need to raise the money to get them a blender, get her a good blender, and uh, and to raise enough money to buy him a plane ticket so that once mom is stabilized, I mean, I know a lot of you all have already given so much, and I really kind of feel bad asking for anything more because, you know, I've kind of been doing that a lot lately, but you, you'll know if this message speaks to you, and if it doesn't, it's not a big deal. But if you feel that little tug to do something and to get involved in this, um, I'll put the, the donate the information underneath this video, and I mean, like if everybody sent a buck or five dollars, um, you know, I just think that we're so blessed. It, I look for opportunities to give, and it's not always financial. You know, sometimes we can give of our time and our talents, but um, right now, I think this would be a huge blessing to them. One of the things that Raw Food Rehab is going to do is we are going to sponsor them and get them a 24-7 Wi-Fi hookup. Because these poor kids, I mean, they're, they're out in no man's land about half of the time, and they need internet connection. This is how Rory makes, it's his livelihood, you know, scheduling the classes, doing all the things that he needs to do. The guy and Amanda both need full-time Wi-Fi. So we're going to sponsor them for that. But, I mean, we're definitely open for ideas. If anybody has creative ideas, let's, let's hear them. But we love Raw Dog and Amanda, and we want to support this support all the great things that they're doing and they're helping so many people. As a matter of fact, this house where Amanda's staying right now in Grants Pass, Oregon, she's got this community. I don't know how many people live in this house. It sort of sounds like there's a, a small community here. And she's got them on a 30-day raw food challenge. She's making all the food and um, they're doing some juice feasting. And I mean, they've got it going on. And Amanda is continuing to walk so that she can keep her endurance up. There's trails all around and she's walking every day. Um, and she's also working. Like, they're, it's harvest time or it's getting ready to be harvest time. And she and Isabel are actually physically working on this farm. And she sounded delightful. She sounds really happy where she is. And, and I know it was very hard for Raw Dog to leave her. They've never been apart in all the years that they've been married, which I think is just so precious. But anyway, I really appreciate you listening today and indulging me in yet one more plea for donations. But I just wanted to make you aware of the situation and what's happening with them because they are such an integral part of our community and we love them so much. So guys, you know I love you. And be sure to tune in tomorrow because we have a special guest vlogger that will be taking over the helm. You won't want to miss it. Love you guys. Bye.